Before we go on, I like to point out what might happen uh, if there is more than one final activity, more than one activity that's connected to the finish uh, node. Uh, then how we would calculate the uh, the you know ES, EF, and LS, LF. Okay, so let's suppose uh, that for the purpose of illustration, let's suppose we have another one more activity, uh, J, uh, whose predecessors are G and H, uh, and uh, activity duration is three weeks. Uh, so what would change is here uh, we will have you got here G I, and then there will be another activity uh, here J. Okay, like this, uh, and the predecessors are G and H. So we will have arcs going from G and H to J. Okay, uh, now we will have three is the duration that would go here. Okay, and then let's see. Um, let's say we uh, so, and then he, from here we are going to have. Uh, now arc going to finish. So now we have two activities I and J that are considered the final activities. Now uh, let's pretend that we have done the forward pass uh, all this and then we, are, uh, we just did G and H and uh, let's do this. Uh, let's erase some of them. So let's say we have already done uh, these numbers, 10 and 24, and 9 and 21. Okay, uh, now we're going to do uh, I and J. So let's see, uh, for I, uh, that doesn't change. So this is still the same, and then 26 will still be the same. Now for J, we would also have here 24. And then we would add a 3 to get 27 for the uh, EF here. Okay, now start the backward pass. Uh, we would say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, we have here uh, J has EF of 27 and I is EF is 26. So now how long will the entire project take? Well, J could only be done at 27 weeks. So the total time is now 27 weeks. Okay, so this is what we would use to start the backward pass. Uh, so for LF of J, we will put down 27. And also for uh, LF of I, we would put down you know, 27. Okay, and now, now I will also have the LF of 27. And 27 minus 2 is 20. Five. Okay, and then H, uh, let's see, H is going to be pointing to both J and I, and here we have 24 and 25. So the smaller number will be written here, and here the same thing, 24. So 24, so here we will have, that was 24 minus, oh, 14 is 10 and here 24 minus 12 is 12 and so it looks like uh, the numbers for the bottom numbers for G and H will not change so from there uh, if we were to continue with a backward pass the other numbers are not going to change in the bottom okay so here the important thing to remember is uh, that uh, if you have more than one uh, final activity and uh, just remember to choose the total time is going to be the highest LF of the final activities. And uh, that's the number that you would start the backward pass with. This is number we would put in the bottom of all the final activities, like here and here, in order to start the backward pass. Here is a neater version of the project network we just created. So the next thing we're going to do is 
uh, we're going to uh, find the slacks for all the activities and using the slacks we're going to uh, find the critical path uh, in the network. So that's the definition of the uh, slack. It's basically the delay that you're allowed to have for an activity. It's the length of time an activity can be delayed without delaying the entire project. So it's just going to be the uh, uh, the latest start time minus the earliest start time or latest finish minus earliest uh, finish. It doesn't matter which difference you get, it's going to be the same. It's basically the uh, the bottom number minus the top number. Okay, so let's try uh, getting the slack for each activity. Well, here we have uh, here we're told, okay, uh, ES is 0 and LS is also 0. So um, 0 is the earliest time you could start A, and 0 is also the latest time uh, you could start A. So there is no difference, no, no, there is no leeway. So here the slag is equal to 0. Now here there is some delay allowed because it says, well, the earliest time you could start B is 0, and the latest time uh, that you have to start uh, by is 6. So the difference is a slab that is 6 minus 0 uh, is 6. Okay. Now what about C? Well, you e earliest time is 5, latest time is 8, so the difference is 3, and here the difference is uh, 7 minus 5 is 2, and 5 minus 5, here there is no difference. And F we have 0 is a slack. Here the slack is 0, 3 here, the difference. And here the slack is 0. So those are the slacks of the activities. And the critical activities are, well, guess what? They're the ones with no slack allowed, no slack, no delay allowed. Uh, so that would mean uh, if we were to go and circle uh, the critical activities, you know, A would be one of them, and then E, so it's, we're just, just circling the activities with no slack, and here G and I. And notice that uh, if you follow the, um, uh, if you connect uh, the, the critical activities uh, by following the arcs in the network, then we get an entire path from start to finish and that path is called well a critical path so that would be going from start to to A and then to E and then to F and then to G and then to I and then we're done so that's the uh, critical path okay so critical path here let's write it down here from A to E to F to G to I. So that's your critical path. So what's so special about critical path? Uh, so the special thing is that um, uh, any, uh, any activity that is on the critical path, we know that is a critical activity and we can't delay those activities. So the activities that are on the critical path are the ones to uh, focus on. Uh, they are the bottleneck activities. Also, the critical path is the longest path in the network. Uh, that is, and uh, that length, length of the critical path, is the same as the uh, as the project duration, or the total time for the project. So here, remember that the length of the project was 26 weeks. So let's see if the length of this path matches up that number. By length of the path, we mean if we were to add up the durations of the activities on that path, the sum would be the length of that path. So here we have 5, and then 1, and then F is 4, uh, G is 14, and i is 2, so that gives me 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 14 is 24, plus 2 is, oh, that's right, 26 weeks. So length of the critical path is the same as the project time. That's not a coincidence. That is always the case. Okay, and, and the, uh, by path, we mean, well, there could be many different paths. 
uh, in the network. Uh, but the critical path is going to be the longest one. So for example, uh, let's try to identify a couple of other paths uh, from start to finish. Let's see, how about You know, how about let's say we go to A and then C and then H and then I. That's a path, right? So A, C, H, I. Can you think of another path? Uh, oh, there are many. Uh, let's see, here's another one. Uh, B to H to I. So B to H to I. Now, so what are the length of these two paths? So let's figure that out. A is 5, C is 4, uh, H is 12, and I is 2. That's 9 plus 12 is 21, plus 2 is uh, 23. And BHI, that's 6, 12, 2. So 6 plus 12 plus 2 uh, is 20. Okay, so you can kind of see, you know, just by way of examples, the length of these paths are shorter uh, than our, the length of our critical path. Well, sometimes people ask, well, since the critical path is the longest path, why choose that path? Can't we just choose a shorter path to take? Well, it doesn't quite work that way. We don't have a choice on which path to take. We do have to travel all the paths in the network in that we have to finish all the activities in the network. So here's a kind of stupid example to illustrate this point. So say you're getting married this Saturday at 3 o'clock. Okay, so here you're going to have a wedding. A wedding at 3 p.m. Okay, and you have four friends in your wedding party. So you're the bride and you have, you know, four bridesmaids uh, in your wedding party. Uh, let's say um, uh, one's name is, um, I don't know, uh, Michelle. Okay. And then we have Michelle. Uh, and we have uh, Brittany. Uh, and um, let's say Ashley. And then we have, um, and these girls are, are local. They, these are these friends are, are local. You know, they, they live close by uh, to your wedding site. But then you have this one friend, let's call her Madison, who lives way out, uh, out of state. Okay, at, at four hours driving distance. So uh, now you want everybody to show up on time, right? So that uh, your wedding, your wedding could be started on time. And now you don't, you're not too worried about uh, these three people. But you know that Madison lives much farther than others. Uh, so the distance that Madison has to travel, you would consider that a kind of critical path. You know, like the longest path in the network. Now you got here Michelle's path, Brittany's path, Ashley's path, and Madison's path is you know, longer than others. So you would want to uh, tell your friend Madison you know, to make sure that she starts on time. You now she gets up on time in the morning, uh, you know, start traveling you know, hours in advance so that uh, she could get there on time. Uh, so Madison is uh, the critical activity or you could consider the, you know, the distance, distance, like the length of the critical path. You know, everybody has to show up. Uh, you can't just choose one of them, but the, everybody has to show up. So the point of the um, identifying the critical path is it tells you, you know, which path that you need to pay special attention to. Now we could see, uh, we, could, we could answer all the questions here. What is the total time to complete the project? The total time to complete the project, we figured it out as 26 weeks. Now when to schedule each activity, that is what are the start and finish times for uh, each activity, well we have them all here. We have them all here in the boxes. We got ES, so here we could just say see the nodes, CES, EF, LS and LF that we already have in our nodes. Number three, which activities are critical and must be completed exactly as scheduled to keep the project on schedule? Uh, that we figured out were uh, A, E, a, E, F, G, and I. So A, E, F, G, and I were the critical activities. And how long can non-critical activities be delayed 
before they cause increase in the total project completion time. Uh, these were the slacks. So I could I would just say see the slacks, you know, in the network. So that's the end of this example.